It's that time of year. Everybody's setting goals. Maybe that's to lose weight, make more money, get a new job. I want to share with you something. You see, every single one, and I mean every single client that I coach, there's one key element that defines whether or not they can achieve and enjoy success. That one ingredient is self-appreciation. Self-appreciation. You see, it's fine to lose weight, make more money, but if you don't like who you are, how in the world are you going to enjoy it? You can't. No matter what you achieve, no matter what goals you set, how much money you make, you can't enjoy it if you don't like who you are. Fundamentally, foundationally, we have to appreciate ourselves first to appreciate anything else. Most people's idea of success, they look for happiness to be in something or someone or somewhere. But winning is an inside job. Number one, you have to appreciate who you are. The good, the bad, the indifferent. If you don't like who you are, it's really difficult to appreciate anything else, regardless of what goals you set or what you obtain in life. Number two, instead of focusing on the negative and what you don't have, focus on what you do have right now and appreciate that. Maybe it's something simple, like having a roof over your head, having a comfortable bed to sleep in at night, having good food, a, a nice warm sweater to wear, whatever that looks like for you. Some people keep a journal. Some people keep a gratefulness log. Whatever helps you understand and appreciate what you have right now is very important because as a culture, you might agree that we're very focused on what we don't have. Oh look, a new phone's coming out. I need to have that. Or, hey, there's a new game. Or, I need a bigger TV. We're focused on what we don't have, not what we do have. So it's very hard to appreciate where we are right now. Number three, your attitude. I know, you've heard it all before. Attitude this, attitude that, blah, blah, blah. Look, it took me a really long time and a lot of eye rolling to figure out that, yeah, attitude does matter. And if you have a bad one, your life pretty much sucks. So, <laughs> have a good attitude and it is a choice. You can decide what your responses are. You can't gain more altitude if you have a bad attitude. Attitude matters. First and foremost, appreciate who you are. Please, for me this year, can you do that? Can we work on that? Because I see it all the time. Whenever we start drilling down in my coaching sessions to what really holds you back, every time, every time, it is a lack of appreciation for yourself. That holds you back from so much. It holds you back from understanding your value. It holds you back from asking for the raise you deserve. It holds you back from asking for a promotion. It holds you in places and jobs around people that don't support your growth. From my heart, I would want for you this year to think about appreciating who you are, what you have right now, and work on changing your perspective. Because that, ladies and gentlemen, is the key to success.